And we just want to lead by example and then show them the right way to do it. What's up, everybody? I'm Luke Kites with Ride Bikes More. Thanks for tuning in to another bike shop interview. Before I get started, I want to send a shout out to everyone that's been watching, hitting the like button, leaving your comments. That's how we're going to reach people and raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. Thanks for joining. I see you. Hit that heart. Let's get some likes, leave some comments, some questions. I am in Riverside, California today with Larry at Stacked Up BMX Bike Shop. How are you guys doing? Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys talk about distance in terms of hours. Man, I am on the road over there. We got a cash app for donations so that we can continue to bring you more content, more bicycle awareness content. So Larry, I've never met you before. I really appreciate you letting me stop by your shop today and take a little bit of your time. I have been watching some of the dope videos that you've been putting up of some of the work that you do on bikes. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you grew up and a little bit of background about your bike biking background um, pretty much I'm born and raised in Riverside um, been riding since about 95 96 um, I was kind of introduced to BMX uh, in middle school before I actually started riding was a little gangster kid that would hang out at the jumps and uh, hang out with my friends that actually rode bikes and occasionally I would jump here and there but in uh, 96, I got kicked out of school for uh, graffiti and uh, had a lot of time on my hands. So I just started building some jumps across the street from my house. Next thing you knew, um, it was world famous. It was on every single magazine cover um, and every you know, BMX video. Um, I met all the pros um, about 97, about 97, 98. Uh, from there, it just went on to becoming you know, I mean, a sponsored rider to becoming a pro BMXer. Um, that I started working at a bike shop as well. I worked and managed it for about 10 years. Um, while doing that, I dabbled into video and stuff like that. So I started working for a lot of the brands. Um, you know, I mean, everything from ESPN to SM Bikes, Redline, uh, Fit Bike Co., uh, ODI Grips. I ran a team management uh, for ODI Grips for the BMX side of things. Um, I left, worked the shop for about 10 years. I left the shop and uh, did the full video thing uh, for about two or three years. Um, from there, the economy kind of crashed. After it crashed, um, a lot of people didn't really see value in video. A lot of people were getting cell phones and uh, just didn't value my work and my work ethic. Um, so I decided to take all my skills from everything, from R&D and products to you know, I mean, filming videos, building teams, creating graphics, and I decided to open up, open up my own shop in Riverside and I uh, give back to the community like I always have, but now I have the time and I sacrifice a lot of stuff to do that. So um, yeah, we're here now and uh, we're just heavily into cycling and we're just trying to um, show other people or parents that you can start from nothing, um, from welfare and you know, I mean, housing and all that stuff and you can build a business out of it and you can show and lead a lot of other people to do similar things. So I've noticed that in the biking community, a lot of people, their message is to help young people get out of maybe problem situations, trouble situations, and show them a better way. Is that something that you're promoting? Well, yeah, definitely. I used to try to get hands on with a lot of people, and um, I just kind of realized that um, some people don't want you to tell them what to do. So I've literally had to change the direction that I've been doing stuff. And uh, now I just, I'm just trying to set example and um, not really help people too much like I have in the past. Um, they kind of take it for granted. Um, my time is very valuable. So the little time that I do offer them or give them, um, it's kind of that thing when you're a teenager, you don't want to hear somebody lecturing you or anything like that. So now I'm just going to do my thing and uh, they can see what I do and they want to follow or do something like me. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, is your bike shop mainly BMX or do you service all bikes? Uh, we service all bicycles. We are core BMX from the from the heart, um, from the soul. But um, we love all bicycles. Doesn't matter if it's a Walmart bike or it's a high end. I mean, road bike. We work on every single bicycle. Um, we don't look down on you, and uh, we don't judge you like many shops I've seen do it. Um, and that's by basically why I opened my shop. Many shops around me. Um, 
didn't really show me any love, um, treated me very badly when I was young. Um, obviously, I didn't have money and I didn't look like I had money. So um, they pretty much um, have pushed me out and I've even worked for other shops and I've had them tell me, don't tell me what to do. Put your money where, where your mouth is. So that's why we have stacked right here. And uh, yeah, so that's what I did. I put my money where my mouth is and we're here and we're just trying to uh, contribute to the community. And uh, I mean, do a little bit more and uh, got a lot of things in store, but uh, just need time and uh, yeah, just keep making stuff happen. So I found you on Instagram. What are some of the other ways people can find you and what are your shop hours? Um, they can find us on the internet, stackbmx.com. Um, our store hours are 11 to 6.30 during the week. We're closed on weekends. Everybody that works here rides bikes, so we ride on the weekends and uh, don't want to force them to miss a lot of events and stuff like that on the weekends. So uh, yeah, we're closed on weekends. So I've never been to Riverside. What can you tell me about biking here in Riverside? And is there a spot or two that I definitely need to check out if I'm riding my bike? Um, yeah, there's, it's actually pretty cool because uh, the cyclist uh, activist that came from Long Beach, um, he actually came out to Riverside and he's been painting a lot of the streets and stuff like that, creating bike lanes and stuff like that. Um, but um, you know, I mean, things you would definitely want to see is the Santa Ana River Trail. Um, there's a trail that there's a lot of controversy and stuff like that. Um, it it ends in like uh, like Eastvale area, like like Norco area, and then it goes all the way to San Bernardino. But it there's a blockage right there from uh, like Norco to uh, Yorba Linda, and there's talks about opening it up. Um, we work with the Parks and Recreation in Eastvale, and uh, they do plan on, you know, I mean, linking that all the way together. So that's very, very exciting. So if you could check that out. Um, another thing is we do rides on Tuesdays at 6:30 from Mr. Taco in downtown Riverside. We do about a three to four, or thir 13 to 14 mile loop. Um, our bicycle rides are designed for everybody. Um, we're not trying to leave anybody in the dust. We're trying to get young kids out there. So we have a lot of young kids out there, a lot of parents, um, child carriers, stuff like that. And then we also um, support the youth that are doing the wheelies and stuff like that because a lot of these old heads, they, they kind of assume that, that they're better than somebody or I don't know what their deal is and they just hate and forget that they used to be a kid and uh, they frown upon it and stuff like that and we want to support them because without those guys um, we won't have future cyclists if we cut them off they're gonna get cars they're gonna start doing other things get into drugs just like a lot of my other friends did and uh, we definitely want to support them and we just want to lead by example and then show them the right way to do it so even though they're doing that we want to befriend them let them know that we're here for them and then grow a relationship and then set an example and allow them to choose what they want to do and decide if they want to stay out of the traffic and not do the bad things and stuff like that so, so is your ride a no drop ride meaning if someone has an issue you guys all stop or how does that work um actually we have a middle uh halfway point so we, the halfway point is at maxi foods on university and um if you do get a flat or you can't keep up and stuff like that we uh, encourage you to meet us up over there uh, between 8 15 and 8 45 um, that allows people if they they break down or anything like that we we were able to continue our, our ride but we also um, have people that follow the ride occasionally and they help pick people up or you know help help them to the, the meetup spot and then allow them to fix your bike and then be able to jump back on the the ride so there's a lot of controversy with wheelie kids and swerving into traffic and at ride bikes more we just say keep it safe keep it legal as much as possible we don't want to discourage you from riding your bike but we don't condone some of the things that are happening out there. So just keep that in mind because we want you to be safe. We want the motorists to be safe. We don't want the motorists to hate you or all cyclists, as some people say that they do. So that's a great message for you to uh, let the people out there know. Now, for the people that are watching, is there something you want them to know about Riverside or about uh, your bike shop? Um, can I go back a little bit more? Oh, um, I definitely want to create awareness and allow people to, to understand that um, all bike lanes are or all lanes are bike lanes. Um, if you're driving a car, you have other family members um, that are out there, definitely tell them to not, how do you say this? Um, 
not to over, over glorify their glorified bumper cars because they are very rude and stuff like that. Um, maybe be drinking or doing some, some nose beers and stuff like that. Um, really creates them to be aggressive and uh, very puts a lot of people in danger and they have no understanding that that could be their mom, their dad, their uh, cousin, you know what I mean, their brother, anything like that. And we're out here bare skin and if we get hit by a car, we're gonna get very, very hurt. Um, but a lot of people don't understand the laws of the roads. Um, we have to turn left in the left turn lane, just like them. Um, so if you don't plan your day out and you're running late, don't take it upon us because you're running late and you're trying to mow us down. We always encourage you to share these videos with people that are driving, people that you want to get a bike and have a bike in their life. We want to spread awareness one person at a time and let them know that we're humans as well and we're out there and it is very dangerous for people on bicycles. So be careful while you're out there on the road if you're partying or just on your cell phone or whatnot. Just be aware that there are cyclists out there on the road. Are there any shout outs you want to give? Um, definitely give shout out to all our vendors, um, Throne, uh, Merit, uh, Kink BMX, Colt, uh, S&M Bikes, uh, Golden Cycles, uh, tons of other ones. Um, I can't explain all of them, but everybody that supplied us the products, Sunday Bikes, um, Haro BMX, like everybody that supplied us bikes during the, the pandemic, I really appreciate that. Um, it was definitely hard to get a lot of products. so. Really thank you guys for doing that and helping our customers and our local community. Um, definitely any shoppers that have ever bought anything from us or reposted our stuff, um, come out to our rides or anything like that, said good words about us, or push anybody to, to our shop, or just in general, just ridden bikes and help the cycling community. Any, any bicycles that you bought full price and not used, um, definitely thank you for doing that because a lot of my friends are in the industry and uh, we're all out here trying to make a living and ride bikes instead of working a regular nine to five job. So I appreciate everybody that contributes to the cycling uh, world in general. So the Sierra ride, is it part of a bike crew? Are there any bike crews out there you wanna send a shout out to? Um, yeah, definitely Cycle Boys out there, um, Empire BMX, uh, who else, uh, Filthy Animals, uh, Crank Busters, a um, bunch of other ones, uh, Grizzly State, all, the, all those bike crews who are coming out and helping us out with the rides. Um, reposting our flyers and sharing it with everybody. Thank you very much. I appreciate you guys. Any any final words for the people watching? Uh, thank you for watching this. I appreciate you guys for taking your time out and just watching this video and uh, hearing me out. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, and I uh, hope to see you guys in Santa Cruz this weekend. So with that being said, I just want to say come and check out Larry here at St Stacked Up BMX Bike Shop in Riverside, and we are out. Oh. One more thing, I got this awesome trucker cap for you as a thank you gift uh, yeah, thank you. and two stickers for you. I almost forgot about that, but there you go. Sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Until next time, ride bikes more.